What's up, Billy Good Nation? All right, so uh, the folks over at Hyperlight saw that it's pretty dark out here. And uh, so they wanted to get us to test out a solar light and see if we liked it. It's a setup where we can automatically come on at night and it has a remote control too. So obviously, you know, we want to be in the dark for stargaze and stuff like that. We just turn it off. So we're going to uh, check this out today and let y'all know what we think. So this is the box that comes in. Somebody say bolts. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. Here's the panel. So that's how that works. So we've got the solar panel that, of course, hit faces up to get the sun, and the light that's at the bottom with all the electronic. You can turn it on and off there. Or it's supposed to have a remote. Oh, and it does. Remote control. There's some other bolts if we want to use those and comes with batteries. All right, let's get to it. All right, so these are the main parts. It's pretty straightforward. You got this, it comes with another bracket for the backside if you're gonna sandwich it around our post, but our posts are too big, so we're just gonna lag it into the post. And then that goes through there and then you just tighten it up. So I mean, it's not rocket science. And then you got your little remote control. The only things we had to get were, you know, there's your tools. So what's it take, a 10 millimeter? Yeah. And uh, we got a half, so 13 millimeters. It would have been a 10 and a 13, but the 13 is just for our lag, so that doesn't even matter. So it's a 10 millimeter for the back of there. It does come with a little wrench, but we're gonna use our uh, socket set. So the only thing we had to get that didn't come in the kit was lag bolt. For masonry and block, it came with that, and it came with like a nice sandwich kit. Most people won't have this problem that we had. Most the posts will be smaller, but we've got six by six posts for the dock, so we're just gonna lag it in, not a big deal. All right, anybody who's ever wondered how dark it is here out of the pond at night, I'm standing at the end of where the dock's gonna be and the only light is coming off of the uh, GoPro. So with the light, got the little remote in my hand. Ta-da! So let's see, I'm gonna walk out to the Light no longer illuminates the ground where I can see. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, it's still illuminating the ground out here, but I mean, I'm over 100 feet from it now, or about 100 feet probably. Let's see though. I'd say actual good illumination on the ground starts about here. That's about 50 feet. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll put one more of these on the other corner. This will light up the whole dock area. Plenty of light. And then we can turn each one of them off and on individually instead of, you know, having them all in one lighting circuit. Pretty cool, I think. Turn it back off. And the remote has some other functions. So you got sensor, three hour, four hour, five hour, and auto. So auto should be when it gets dark. So it will just stay on until the morning and then cut off. And then you got, of course, timers. So if you come down here and you, know, you want it off a little bit. Oh, we can change the brightness on it. Let's play around with that. So it's a little too bright.
All right, so it's probably about half as bright as it was. You can run it back up. All right. One just a little bit dimmer like that. Serves the purpose I need. Y'all have a really good day.